Hello, today I want to share my latest find, a uh, pocket sized 10 watts LED flashlight from True Night. I'll compare it with my homemade extremely bright 100 watts LED flashlight. I'm pretty sure if you are following my channel, you already saw my DIY video how I made it. If you don't, click on the link in the corner. Okay, here is how come a TN12 LED flashlight from True Night. Package makes very good first impression. Inside I found user manual and nicely packed flashlight. Also there are a holster, lanyard, a pocket clip, and spare on a button with two O-rings for thread sealing. Power and off button and mode switch are easy accessible. Feels very comfortable in hand. Ok, let's take a look in user manual. There is written a lot of information, but I'll make only a few notes that makes the biggest impression to me. This flashlight has 6 lightning modes. I'm quite surprised about maximum beam distance and waterproof. Flashlight body is made from aircraft grade aluminium with hard anodized anti-abrasive finish. Threads are sealed with rubber o-rings to prevent any moisture access inside. This little flashlight is powered by one 18650 cell. True Night are recommended to use protected one, but the hair will work any other 18650 cell, uh, for example from all laptop batteries. This flashlight at full power will use about 3 amps of current. 3 amps of load is totally fine for almost any reclaimed 18650 cell from all laptop's batteries. Let's check operating modes. The light source of this little flashlight is Kui XML2U2 LED, which is able to give up to 1050 of lumens. And now let's see them with fixed camera exposure. Here is how it looks at night outside. Sadly, my video gear isn't able to show the real performance, but I'll try my best. Now I was operating my 100 watts LED flashlight on my right hand, and with True Night TN12 on left hand, I'm switching between modes to find how good it is. Let's turn off 100 watts flashlight and see how it performs 10 watts flashlight alone. It has very concentrated beam and lights few times better than are visible in this video. It's really hard to show the real performance, but I think you got the point. Because flashlight has passive cooling, True Night don't recommend to use it at full power more than 10 minutes, to prevent from overheating battery and power circuit.
in my opinion, the most important feature at this product is waterproof. Oh, almost forgot the last mode, strobe. I'm not sure where we'll use it, but while I was testing water resistance, I made funky pool lightning. In total flashlight was underwater for about 5 minutes while I was filming but I think it could hold much longer, without any consequences. I took it apart and can't find any water leaks inside, so it's waterproof enough for me. And conclusion. Where I need a lot of light and bright lighting source, I definitely will use my Monster 100 watts LED flashlight. But where I need long range lightning, waterproof, small body size, True Night TN12 is the best possible choice. Thanks for watching, and till the next time!